Right, all right. Hi, Fox, and thanks for joining me. Um, my name's Ahari Mumia, and I am the administrator of the Kenyan Free Thinkers. Um, I'm also an atheist, and I decided to do this video one because um, on uh, today is the third day of uh, January 2013. I want to wish all of you a happy and uh, fulfilling new year and uh, for those ones in Kenya I also want to wish you uh, a peaceful uh, elections we are looking at uh, an election in the next two months and I want everybody to vote with uh, their heads and not with their tribes so having said that I'm also a blogger and I blog on uh, the Kenyan Freethinkers blog which is www.kenyanfreethinkers.org If you go there you'll find 90% uh, of the posts are done by me and most of my blogs are centered on uh, the topic of atheism and this is what I want to talk about today because I think there is a lot of misunderstanding on what atheism is all about and why people actually become uh, atheists. And so I'll, I'll begin by defining what atheism is and also saying what atheism is not. Atheism is basically the absence of theistic uh, beliefs. Uh, by theistic beliefs, uh, I mean uh, anybody who uh, uh, believes that we have a creator, uh, whatever that creator is called, be it uh, Allah, be it uh, Jehovah, uh, those are theistic beliefs. In fact, uh, we have other theistic beliefs that died a long time ago like the belief in the sun god by the Egyptians we also have um, the belief in uh, Zeus some of the very many Greek gods atheists have taken the position that um, there is no uh, such phenomenon there is no god we cannot say that uh, the supernatural realm exists or there is somebody operating in the cosmos who is uh, defining or getting uh, concerned with what we do. So atheism is just uh, the absence of uh, beliefs in uh, theists, in, in, in uh, the absence of theistic beliefs. So atheism is not a religion. I would also like to mention that I'm a humanist and this is interesting because most atheists are actually humanists. And just to explain what humanism is all about, most humanists trust in um, scientific methods when it comes to understanding how the universe works. And in fact, um, most humanists, humanists also reject the ideology that um, there is a supernatural phenomenon. Humanists also um, make ethical decisions based on reason and this is very significant. Um, when you look at um, the debate going about homosexuals even in Kenya, the debate about uh, lesbians, the debate about uh, uh, prostitutes. In my view as a humanist, we should be able to legislate, legislate on the uh, topic of uh, prostitution. We should look at prostitutes as uh, not as a moral issue, but as an issue that uh, is at an individual level where the woman uh, makes a decision about his sexual life and also at the governance level because 
it affects society so how do you manage prostitution and this is where i believe that we need to have legislation in the area of uh, prostitution gays and lesbians should be allowed to form groups and participate in society just like any any other individual because from a scientific point of view uh, we have individuals who are gay simply because of their biological makeup I mean we know of men who uh, look more and behave more like um, women and we know women who have very masculine characteristics both physical and uh, psychological and therefore humanists do not um, uh, take ethical decisions based on for example biblical morals and so on and so forth we are more concerned about uh, uh, scientific uh, approach and our ethical decisions are based on reason we are more concerned uh, we, we, we are more concerned about uh, the general concern for human beings um, and we work probably using the concept of concept of shared values for us that is more important the concept of how do we correlate what brings us together must it be a, a bible that that binds us through its very many uh, absurd uh, directives and, and rules and I, I say no so that is about atheism and probably the only other thing I want to touch on is um, the whole concept of Africans not understanding the history of religion because if we were to if we are to just delve into the history of religion for a, for a, for a second then that can form a very good basis for us rejecting religion for example being a kenyan myself i think that uh, christianity was imported to africa uh, put it this way we, we became recipients of religion during the colonial uh, era around 1930s to 1950s when the missionaries started opening up churches around Africa in Kenya there are all sorts of denominations and the fundamental question is why don't we look back and ask ourselves was it necessary for us to accept a foreign religion uh, are we so vulnerable as Africans that we cannot think for a second that what the missionaries brought us was was wrong was it necessary for us to accept that Christianity was the way truth and the life that the Jewish the, the Jewish uh, concept the Jewish uh, story of the biblical God is a representation of the truth and now that we have knowledge and we have information and we have science can't we look back and actually drop our beliefs why is it so difficult for a Christian to do research, for example, on uh, the issue of uh, evolution and the issue of DNA. You just need to go and Google it up. Google it up. I did it yesterday. I learned a bit more about uh, mutation. Mutation, you know, is how genes transform to new genes and how they can either improve or make worse certain situations. And just look at for example the bone uh, structure of some of these uh, some of the animals that have been 
excavated by geologists. I mean, there's a lot of information that would easily, easily uh, disqualify the belief in uh, a biblical God 2,000 years ago. Let me talk about, and I'm really sorry if uh, you're not, my, my, my video is not flowing. I just woke up a couple of minutes ago and decided to do this video. Let me talk about uh, Kenyan free thinkers. If you're new to the Kenyan free thinkers, welcome. Welcome to Kenyan free thinkers. Mm, the Kenyan free thinkers is a page that uh, I started to bring together the very many uh, agnostics and atheists and free thinkers out there who uh, have no platform to express themselves and meet other like-minded uh, Kenyans and I'm happy because the Kenyan Freethinkers page has grown uh, and, and we have quite a bit of international uh, members from Africa, Europe, Asia, Latin America, North America. I appreciate all of you for being a part of the Kenyan Freethinkers and this tells me something that uh, the world is a small world. Technology has enabled us to share our ideas and that is how we are growing. And that is basically what the 21st century is all about. <coughs> now, um, we have the, the some administrators. I'm not the only administrator of the Kenyan Free Thinkers. We have about five, uh, five administrators. We have three Kenyans and uh, about three, two or three international administrators. And I want to thank all of you for the good work that you're doing. Okay, I guess that is it. If you want to get in touch with me personally, you can uh, email me, uh, mumiaharrison at yahoo.com. Uh, write to me through the Kenyan Free Thinkers page, write a message uh, to the admin, I'll be able to see it. And let us keep the Free Thinkers um, ideology alive in Kenya. I know this is a new thing, this is um, an area which most religious folks will want to shun, but I think that it is time that uh, the atheists and the free thinkers came together and demonstrated, kept reason uh, alive because I think religion is just based on a lack of reason and logic. So it is us to keep the reason and, and logic alive. All right, I have to, I think, prepare for myself uh, breakfast. So let me wish all of you a happy new year once again. And for the Kenyans, let me hope that we shall have a meaningful election and elect the right president for this country. Thanks. <laughs>